same for everyone. I was traveling when the, the invitation was sent. We did not communicate quickly enough with the rest of the family, so basically they said sorry, uh, but uh, so I'm still very happy to see you today. It's already so. Don't feel you can ask any question. We have nothing to hide. Everything happens in the vineyard. We don't talk of other producers of Alsace as our competitor. We speak about them as colleagues. And I, I really think this initiative uh, for the Salon Millésime was a great initiative. Yet there's still a lot of work that needs to be done rather than receiving people in Alsace, which is wonderful, but to go and visit the markets. I was, by coincidence, uh, three weeks ago at Vinexpo Hong Kong, which is the biggest fair for wines in Asia. I was the only grower from Alsace there, which... Only you. And only. I, I've seen a few of you in... I've never been to Mexico, apologies, but I've seen some of you in, uh, in Brazil, yeah. where our wines, you know, enjoy a very good yeah. uh, uh, no presence. Yeah. So we're, we're quite happy. Uh, all of our Grand Cru domain, so more than half of our domain, is now converted to organic viticulture. So we were maybe not the first to go in that direction, but the movement has started, and I believe it will show in the wines in the, in the years to come. Then in addition to our domain, we buy grapes as grapes, hand-picked, very important, even our least expensive wine, our Gentil, which some of you may know, it's 100% hand-picked grapes. This is hugely important for the purity, for the elegance uh, in the wine. So, no compromise, we don't buy must, we don't buy finished wine, we don't, everything is, comes in here as grapes, hand-picked, and we buy from about 100 hectares. We have in our domain, and it shows again in the style of our wines, a dominance of clay and limestone soils. The area around Berkheim, Ribovillet, Hunavir, Rikvir is as a certain unity of terroir. As you know, Alsace is an absolute patchwork of soil. We have a dominance of clay, so fairly heavy soils. This tends to give wines that are somewhat austere, not very flamboyant when the wines are young, but with maybe more weight and especially more longevity. Uh, this is, so, this is in our domain, the villages where we buy, this is my daddy, vintage 1990, <laughs> <laughs> see, uh, keeping very well, uh, so we buy additional fruit in villages that have similarity of soil type to what we have in our domain, so this is important so that all of our family of wine have a common family character. 